Good morning, traders. It is Tuesday, March 3rd, 2015, and I'm just coming in to trading, and I have got the code figured out, and I am going to start taking some trades uh, using code 1, and then I will um, actually... Assuming that I'm right on the code, I should be able to nail code 2 today. Uh, so that'll be good. I uh, should be able to make some extra ticks there. Probably could get at least 30, maybe even 40 ticks on that trade. So, let's see, I got... I actually got a couple codes today I could use. A couple good ones. You know, sometimes you get that. Sometimes there's only two, sometimes there's four. There appears to be four today. But uh, there's two main ones, though, that are real good. So I am going to target them, and I will come back shortly as soon as I take a trade. I'm just waiting for the code to tell me. Be back shortly. Okay, I have just taken a long position here using code 1. It's going to be for... You know, I may want to put it for more than 20, but let me just put it at 20 for right now. And then I'll decide on what to do based upon how fast it goes up and how much it, or if I get more code 1 entries to go long. And if I, if the code continues to say go long, then I can just hold it for some more, try to get more out of it wherever I'm at at that point. So I'm just going to sort of play it by ear, so to speak. Play it by watch. <laughs> we'll call it that. Come on. Papa. See, it's been coming down. I get it. It's been coming nothing but down. <laughs> and now I'm taking a long entry here. Why? Want to continue to go down? That's what everybody would think. Ah. But they do not know the code. I know the code. Do they know the code? No. I know the code. And you are watching the power of knowing the code right now. And watch. There is a good chance that this, what it will do, since it gave a long entry right there, you know, in such a... Mm, precarious type of a place. I mean, after we had come way down, you know, it's like, which way are you going to go? Are you going to continue to go down like most people would? Or are you going to take this, you know, very bold trade and go long? You know, like this is the bottom here and it's going to go, it's going to start going up now. Since it, this kind of a trade where, where we are, and considering the fact that, you know, code two, it's a good chance that this thing will shoot up pretty good. In fact, it could shoot up really big. So this could be like a 40 tick trade from here. Even more. But, you know, a solid 40 tick trade. So I may want to adjust it up to like 30, something like that. Just depends. I want to see it get a lot more bullish than it is right now. Right now it's just playing this game. Still trying to bait in the shorters. Trying to get them to go short. Oh, I'll come back down. I'll come back down. And then... Take off. Anyway, when you trade, you always want to have uh, a 10-minute chart like this up. So you can see where we are, you know, relative to the bigger picture of everything. You also want to have up... 
a daily chart helps too. So you can see even in a larger picture where we are. Alright, this looks like the same type of a code <laughs> as yesterday. It comes down, and it'll go up, and it'll come down, go up. Maybe I'll, it'll spare me that, that this time and shoot up this time. Probably will. It does that a, a, a good amount of the time. I'd say 50% of the time. Now the question is, do I want to go for more? Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do. 19, let's put it up to 29. Now the reason why, for you code traders out there, it's important for you to understand why. It's because of code 2, basically. You know, if it's gonna go in this direction, up, then there's a good chance it'll shoot up pretty good maybe not really super good or anything like that but just you know good enough to hit that exit it's doing a fantastic job look at it though same thing as yesterday down right down right and then it moves back up I take a position using the code now look at it does it look like it's gonna go up to you <laughs> to look ahead Man, if I didn't know the code, I'd be looking at that going, man, it's time to go short. It's time to go short. It's time to go short. It's going to drop out. It's going to drop out. Uh-oh. Instead of going long right there, they just went short right there. They not know the code. And look at it. It's going down again. You missed it the first time. There it goes. Don't. You're going to miss it. Go short. Hurry up. I just want you to see how good it is at faking people out. And it's doing it particularly good. And look at it now. Now, if it didn't look like it was going to go down, does it look like it's going to go down now? Now it looks like it's going to go down even more so. I mean, it really looks like it's going to... By the way, let's go take a look at the 10 minute, the larger view, and then you'll really see what, why. Look at this. Look at this. Now, does that look bearish or what? Anybody who would go long right there is a nutcase. I mean, seriously. I'm going to go take a look at this myself. What is going on? Okay, we good, we good. It's all right. Everything's cool. Man, this thing is... you you got to give it credit. You know, they, they really made it good, you know. They really want to fake you out. They want to take you the wrong way, you know. But look at the power of knowing the code. You know which way to go. By the way, for you code traders out there, I am using the exact code today. I'm not free trading here. I'm using the exact code. And this is a demo, you know, this is to show you here how powerful it is to figure that out and then take this precision level trade. Now, since it's doing what it's doing and it hasn't done anything yet, there's a very good chance now it's going to start getting hot and it's going to start going up and it's going to shoot up pretty good using the code 2. So, 30 ticks could easy be, easily be in the bag here. Just needed to start moving up now, that's all. I 
And here we go. But you got to give it credit though. Look at the choppiness and the... I mean... Still, right now, as at this very moment, there's no reason to think that this is bullish in any way. Still looks bearish. Still coming back down. Still making a red bar. True? Still, still, it's just, that's all it's been doing is coming down. True? There's no, there's not even a green bar anywhere. <laughs> no reason at all to think that this is bullish. And I'm in before it ever even happens. Now watch when it happens. Just as tricky as it was going down and then tricky as it was to take change positions to start going back up, right? It's going to be tricky with that too. It'll either go up and then come back down and go up and come back down and then go up and come back down or it'll take the exact opposite and it'll just shoot up. <laughs> if you didn't get in, then you missed it. That's the benefit of being in before it even happens. Because by the time you figure out, oh, is this going to go along now? Is this going to go along? Is this going up? Is this going to go along now? The time you hit that one, hit the buy button, it just shoots up. And you're like, oh man, missed it. But I won't miss it. Because I'm already in. Knowing what it will do before it even does it. Why? Because of the code. And you are seeing it on camera. Day in, day out. I'm not always right. Only not, not because the code doesn't work, but because my interpretation of it doesn't isn't right. This thing needs to be given an Academy Award for its performance. I wanted to keep the video running because when it takes off, it's just going to take off, most likely. I wanted you to see it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pause the video, and when it gets up here to make the break, I'll, I'll record it again. That way you can see it take off. You can also see, this. it's useful for you to see it here too, because look at it. Just look at the fake taking place. I mean, sheesh. It's really been tricky the last recent trading where there's all these you know it just doesn't want to like just turn direction and go the other direction like it would normally do it just it seems to be like there's these extra fakes put in I mean, if you didn't know the code, how on earth would you know that it's going to go up? It doesn't look like it's going to go up. True? Look at it again. That red bar looks like it's going to go down. Ah, but it will soon be revealed that it won't be. And that'll turn, tur that red bar will turn into a green bar. And with the line there at the bottom. And then it'll turn into a green bar going up. But let's just look at the fake before it does that. Yeah. It's tricky trading out here now. I mean, you know, it'll get better. It'll open back up again, but wow. You know, and you can see it on the daily. Zoom out a bit more. You know, look at the daily. 
it's it's been going it was real choppy and up and down here and then here look at it it's just tightening up into this tight little and even the last few days it's just it's gotten even tighter it's like so tight in here oh man it's just you know some tight little choppy trading up and down makes it very difficult to <laughs> get it right you got to use the code on it, that's all I can say and the precise code at that but you know this isn't going to last much longer, it's lasted much longer than I thought it would already but it's not going to last forever and it'll open back up again and turn back into moving again and start making some big ranges again in between the codes so that that'll certainly help that's for sure okay I am going to come back still got uh, still waiting the code still says go long, still waiting. I'll come back shortly and uh, show you what happens. Okay, it's going for the break here. I'm going to place a break even stop at 50. Just break even stop at 50. Where's it going? Where's it at? Okay, we're good. Placing it at 50 now. Okay, stopping at 50 for break even. Letting it go. Oh, no, no, no. We've got to take the stop up. Or 10, t 10 ticks up. 10 ticks up. 29. Or is that already 20, 10 ticks up? 99. That is a 30 tick exit right there. Yep. Yep, that's a 30 tick exit. All right. Where did it go to? Where's the code? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. I need to let this thing go. I need to let this thing go. I could even possibly get 40 ticks out of this. Very, very possibly could get 40 ticks. I'm just gonna try. To, I'm just gonna go for the 30 because that keeps the math relatively high. 40 ticks will reduce it down. Still, 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 you know, relatively high mathematical chance of hitting 40, but it will reduce it. I just want to take the 30. Come on. Where are we at? Where are we at? It went to 29. I mean, I mean, I'm at 29. It went to 25. That's four ticks away. Okay. Uh, let me see something here. Mm, okay. No, we're good. We're good. Go. It's going to go. Here we go. Shooting up. Shooting straight up. Look at the 10 minute. Just what I wanted to see. Bada bing. Just need a little higher. Stretch out. Do a little capitulation. Come on. Where's the code at? There we go. There it goes. See, it. everything that I'm doing isn't like some... Am I recording? Yeah. Isn't some you know guesswork it's the exact opposite of guesswork it is mathematics it's 100 percent mathematics now okay simple basic math but still it's math that's the benefit of it you know two plus two equals four it doesn't equal five doesn't equal three it always equals four that helps because you know this this equals this you know there's no confusion on it. You know, if you if you can get twenty ticks, then you can get twenty ticks. You can, you know, I stretched it out right there, and your co traders are probably asking why, 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 why do you stretch it out? I explain again. It's because what was happening relative to code two. I don't want to explain it any more than that. So, but, 
you know, and if, if you if you have a question about it, just ask me. But for those of you who don't know the codes, again, I called it out before it was going to happen. There was no reason to believe that this was all of a sudden going to change directions and shoot up like that. Right? True or not true? All it was doing was going down. All it was doing was going down, and it just all, all it did was look like it was going to continue to go down, just over and over again. It looked like it was going to go down, and I was showing that to you on video. And you can look at this chart; you don't see it, but when you see it on video, you see it just looks like it was going to go down. It looks like it was going to go down. It looked like it was going to go down. There's no reason to assume all of a sudden it was going to shoot up. And I was already in, calling it that it was going to make make this move right here before it even happened. Many, I've done that many, 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 many times now. And what I'm trying to show you is, is that the codes that I'm teaching really are something and really are valid and they really do work and that really should be obvious by now. Anyway, um, so for you code traders out there, you can see that there's a way to, you know, to hit some good trades using this technique I w I've taught you. Now I'm gonna um, hit another one. There's an, we can hit another 30 tick trade from here because of the nature of the code today. So I'll come back and we'll take one more trade. Okay, I've just taken a long position here. Long position. I'm not really sure what to go for on this. 60, 80 is the top. 20. I guess I gotta go for more. This is some weird trading that it keeps giving to me. Yeah, you're gonna have to go for more. I'll go for an extra 10 ticks. Let's go for 89. See, cause look, I'll show you. The, um, top is here. So my 20 ticks is right here at the top. You know? So I'm going to go for the break, an extra 10 ticks, and take that exit. Where's this thing going? Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Don't roll over on me. Uh oh. I'm in a bit of a, I'm in a deuce of a dilemma. Fiddlesticks. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I wonder what I did wrong. I must have, uh, I must have had it wrong, I guess. Hmm. Man, I think I did that yesterday too. Hmm. I'm not doing so good with that. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick with the uh, two. Wait a second. Hang on a second. I need to. Uh, I need to take a look at something real quick. I'm gonna take another entry. Let's take the uh, one trade per day strategy. Need to calculate it really quick. Be right back. Okay, I've just taken a short position here using code one. And we'll see what it wants to give us. This one could be, you know, it could go really big or it could go relatively shallow. You never know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to get, oh, about at least 10 and maybe even 12 ticks ahead and then I'll place a break even stop on it let it go from there it'll either come back up hit the stop or it'll keep going to the exit for 20 ticks one of the two 
assuming that of course I even get that far ahead. But this is a code entry, I'm taking it. And we'll see what I can get. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back and show you the progression. And of course, the outcome of this trade. Okay, I've got a stop in place here. It's coming back up on me. Stops at 54. This sure is one tricky market. Tricky, 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 tricky. It just it it's, it just wants to chop up and down. It's not easy. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I'll show you the uh, progression of this trade. It's going up again here. It might come get me. Oh man, this market just don't like me today. It's tough. It's just a tricky up and down tough tough market here well still short still holding maybe I'll get a drop here okay I'll come back by the way I'm adjusting the exit down to 16 which is a 30 tick exit there's a reason for that There's a reason for that it has to do with code 2. If I've got the direction right here and it's going to go down, it's the proper thing to do. I'll be able to hit that 30 ticks. I could even put a 40 tick on it and hit it from here. So I'm not sure if I do have the direction right right now. I've got uh mm, Well, I've got I've got code entries saying go short, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, if I can get another code one entry to go short, that'll be perfect. Then it, then it should definitely go down. But uh, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting to see if I can get one. See if it's going to hit me. But it, it may come up and hit me <laughs> before it does that, though. Or it may drop really hard. And then it may give another short entry, and so it'll go down even more. And then that would be the code 2, and then it'll go down even more, so I could hit 40 ticks from here. Right now I got a 30 tick exit on it. I think that's a pretty good exit right there. Hit 30 ticks. Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to try to get a read on the code. Okay, I'm placing break even stop at 5046 exactly. Fifty forty six exactly. Four ticks away. It's either gonna go down from here or I'm gonna get out. One of the two. I think it's going to drop, but that won't be confirmed. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to allow the computer to take over instead of having to sit there and wait to make an exit. Otherwise, I have to put my finger over the trigger like this <laughs> and sit there and wait to make the exit, you know. I don't want to do that. If it goes up there, have the computer take over, stop me out. I'll get out. Try to take out the emotion and just let the trade happen. That is triggered code one short entry. We now have a sh short entry off code one. 
So from my prediction from here will be we'll have a code 2 short entry and I can hit 40 ticks from here. And I can hit 40 ticks from here. I'm going to go for 30. It sure is choppy though, isn't it? I mean, it's like, it's not like you can just get this thing to just like, you know, <laughs> like that. You know, it has to chop, 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 chop before it does it. Yeah, and my prediction will be that I can hit th uh, 40 ticks off this trade, but I'm going to go for just 30. But then again, maybe I will go for 40. Let me, let me uh, recalculate this thing. I'm going to be right back. Give me a second. I'll come right back. Yeah, I'm going to go for 40 ticks on this trade. There's absolutely no reason not to do it. It's going to mathematically make it there. Of course, that hasn't been confirmed yet. That has not been confirmed yet. I will let you know when that is confirmed. That it will mathematically make it to that 06. That has not been confirmed yet. But if it is confirmed, I will let you know. But right now, based upon my experience with this market, I think it will be confirmed. And then I'll know that I can hit that 40 ticks. So there you go. By the power of the code, even though I struggled and everything like that, I was able to take a trade. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. But then it started working and then it, you know, think, in other words, things just started progressing in the future to start to show me what was happening, to give me enough feedback in order to, in order for me to come to this conclusion now. Now I'm still waiting for confirmation, I haven't got it yet. It could still turn around and go back, right back and go even higher than up here. That's, that's possible. Because I have no confirmation yet. Off the, uh, code two. But when I do, then I'll know I can hit that exit at 06. And could probably hit 96. But that 06 is pretty high math. If I can get confirmation. Okay, I'm going to come back and I'll start to show you the progression of this trade. And I'll tell you if I've got confirmation or not. You can see it shooting back up here. I'm not getting rid of it. I'm still holding it. Because, well, you'd have to have a little bit more experience with this market to understand this, but I just know from experience that the mathematical chances are it's going to continue to go down, not reverse direction now and go up. I mean, it could happen. It does happen. Don't get me wrong. But when you play the math, like I always do, you know, you, you got to play it continuation. If you play that way, you'll win more times than you will if you were to play it the opposite direction. Now, if it goes in the other opposite direction, it goes and hits my stop right now, okay, so be it. I'll, it'll just show that there are times that that doesn't work. But you're going to always see me play it like that. It's going to come back down. And it'll break below that low. And, um, and then I'll be able to hit that 40 tick exit. It's just, I know it's probably hard for you to understand this, especially if you don't know the codes, but this is just math to me. It's just a game of math. Nothing more really. It may look like it's chance here and everything's chance and everything, but it's not. And the more you understand the math behind it, the more you'll see that. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I'll be back shortly and I will show you the progression of this trade, whatever happens. Oh, by the way, let me go ahead and adjust this down to... Uh, you know, a, a normal break-even trade. The only reason why I did it before, there was a reason for that. It had to do with the code. I didn't want to elaborate on that, but there's no reason for me not to keep it there now. So that's where I'm going to keep it. 
Okay, I'll come back. I can't believe this thing's coming up here <laughs> like this. Uh, this market just doesn't like me today. It's just not my friend today. But you know, it's probably nobody's friend. <laughs> look at this thing. Uh, it, look at that. Chop, 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 chop. This is the 10 minute. You know, it's just, it's choppy. See these lines? But you know, it's, and it's been choppy, you know, it's. This isn't just been happening to me, it's, it's pretty choppy out there. And you can see the chop on a larger scale on the on the daily. Mm, it's real tight, real choppy in here. Not so easy to trade. Must have a really good, you know, system. Some type of advantage to take trades over the market, you know. Anyway, I'll come back. This thing may take a while. Just like yesterday. Did it take forever yesterday? Oh, man. we could be in there for one of those days again. For the uh, other Code 2s today, they did well. I nailed the, uh, in the charting service, I nailed, I'm just looking at the chart right now, I nailed the, uh, in my charting service yesterday, I nailed the Euro Code 2 today. And then the USA Code 2, they threw in a curveball this morning. So, I didn't nail that one. But, uh, a little tricky out there. But uh, I'm sure some of the code traders caught that. And that one was good for 100 ticks, and the other one was good for, let's see here, that was good for about 70 ticks, 70 ticks off the Euro code, a little tight. USA code good for 100, just barely though, it's a little tight. Look here, I'm trying to go for a trade. Look how tight this thing is. It doesn't want to move anywhere. It just doesn't like me today. Oh well, I told you. See, this is a good, you know, good thing for you to see because every day is different. You can't force a day to be something different than what it is. And you can't expect yourself to do the same every day on whatever kind of day it is. It's just, you know, every day is different. I still have no confirmation off of the uh, code 2. So I'm still just waiting. Right now I can't tell you what the code 2 is going to say, up or down. I don't know. I think it'll say down personally, but that doesn't mean I'm right. So we'll find out together. I'll be back. This trade is really died. Look at it. It's just going sideways this whole time, just going sideways. It's like, wow. Crazy. Well, I've got my exit on it at 40 ticks. If it does go down, it's going to go down to here. Mathematically. If it does go back up, then it's just going to go up and hit my break-even stop. And I'm going to be out. And I just won't make anything today. So it's 40 ticks or break-even. <laughs> That's not bad, huh? There's a lot of people in Vegas that would love those odds. Or they come in, how would you like a chance to make 
let's see Thanks. that's a lot two thousand dollars I'd like the chance to make two thousand dollars or you don't make anything a lot of people in in Vegas would like that but like those kind of odds especially if they knew the mathematics on me making that 40 ticks today I'd say that math right now just if you give it to me right now I'd say mm. got about a 6% chance 60% chance of hitting it and look how close I am to my break even stop I still, I still give it a 60% chance if it starts coming down it's the mathematics are going to increase It can increase all the way to like an 80% trade here. If it were to come down, start coming down more, start getting closer to the exit. So just off the bat, 60% to hit 40 ticks or break even. Not bad, not bad, uh, not a bad deal. The only thing for me is that it is extremely boring see some days the market moves really good during this time some days it's like this hmm. like I say every day is different okay I'll come back show you the outcome of this trade or the progression even but if I wanted to I could easily just walk away from this one just go and walk away this is, this is not one that's gonna take off on you it's not gonna you know it's not going to go up on a tick or anything like that. It's just going to stay in a It's a safe trade to walk away from. I do do it all the time. So anyway, come back. Just make sure that you get out before the uh, changeover. Cuz uh start the new day reset everything all your stops and everything will all be if you have any stops left over they'll all be um, they'll all disappear so you'll need to reset stops and everything you don't want to even bother <laughs> just get out before the changeover one way or another well, this thing just doesn't want to go down does it doesn't want to do anything Okay, I'll come back. Probably hit my stop. I don't expect to make anything now today from this trade. This whole market just has gone dead since I started trading it. I hit one good trade, my first one, that was it. And it just gone sideways and choppy up and down ever since. Anyway, I'll come back. It's uh, starting to head down now. Look how close it came to my stop. Though. It was 43. And my stop's at 45. So two ticks away. Two ticks, two ticks. It's always by two ticks. This, that time the two ticks was in my favor. Okay, so uh, we got a chance. I got a chance here. Now, I am looking to see if code 2 will give me a signal still has not given a signal yet no signal on code 2 whether long or short obviously I'm looking hoping for a short entry if it gives a short entry I'm already short and then it will just you know then it will, then it will go down and hit my exit as I've already have planned so it's looking pretty good right now. You see here. Uh, yeah. We've got one, two, two code one short entries. I'm looking for a code two confirmation. We might be able to pull out a good trade today. Still got time. Got about an hour. Hour left. Still got enough time to do it in. Okay, I'll come back. 
Alright, it's moving down here pretty good. I still don't have a code 2 confirmation yet. I am patiently waiting for a code 2 confirmation. Looking for the confirmation. Code 2. This thing just doesn't want to give one. Man, what a strange day this is. <laughs> this is a strange day. I feel like, you know, something's like this is, this isn't like called the zombie trading. <laughs> this is zombie trading. This will turn you into a zombie. <laughs> Won't take long. Man. Can I get a code 2 confirmation, please? Hello, code 2? Calling code 2? Are you there? Have you died? Are you working? <laughs> I think code 2 is on vacation. It's like pulling teeth, you know? Actually, it's not even, it's worse than that. You know, I suppose it's possible that this thing won't even give a code 2 confirmation today. It's possible. It does that sometimes. Especially when it's moving this slow. <sighs> Brother. Alright, I'll pause the video, I'll come back if it makes a code 2 confirmation, otherwise I'm going to exit like in an hour, assuming it, it doesn't already exit me, one, you know, so I'll come back, but yeah, just for the record, you know, I could exit right here, right now, if I wanted to, you know, be nothing wrong with it, be nothing wrong with exiting right here, right now, just saying, okay, you know, you bored me too much and exiting the trade. The reason why I'm going for it is because, well, mainly because I'm stubborn. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Because it, no, normally this thing will give a code 2 uh, signal. Normally, I mean mathematically, and so you know, okay, this might be one of those days where it's not going to, but it's sort of hard to break from that mathematics, you know, when you see it do it over and over and over and over and over again, it's hard to break from it. it's like any any time it could, it could give the signal and then all of a sudden start going down and you know go hit the exit, and I don't want to give up on it, you know what I mean. The only reason why I would want to hit the exit and get out is because I need to leave or something. You know, I need to go. That would be the reason why. Otherwise, eh. I'm trying to hit a 40 tick exit today. Okay, I'll come back. Hopefully we're going to get a confirmation from code 2 here soon. And then, then my exit will be in the bag. Okay, um, this thing's come all the way back up again. It's just not a very good day today. If it, which is what I'm going to do though. Let me see here. 40. We've only really got about, you know, usually my, my exit's right around 130 or so, so we've only really got like 45 more minutes. Well, I'm going to give it another 45 more minutes and see what it does. I mean, if we're at the bottom of the chart here in 45 minutes, I might see if it'll drop and let it go. Otherwise, in 45 minutes, I'll just exit wherever it's at, assuming it doesn't hit the break-even stop. Because, frankly, I don't think this trade's going to go anywhere. I think it's going to come down and stay in the middle somewhere and just... But it might drop. It might. It might. 
So I don't like to give up on them. Because sometimes they're late droppers. <laughs> they are. Sometimes they take a while and they drop late. That's why I'm saying is if if it's at the bottom at 1:30 or so, I'll try to hold on to it just for a little bit longer to see if it'll drop. Anyway, I'm just trying to show you. You know, every day's different. You know, some days you get out really fast. Some days you get out just a little while. Some days it takes forever. Every day's different. You gotta kind of play them a little bit different. Again, this wouldn't be a bad day though just to exit the trade and say, nice. I mean, you know, see you tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's boring. Anyway, I'll come back. Anywhere on this trade today. So I'm going to go ahead and exit right here. Okay, I'm out right there, out of the trade. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't want to do anything today. It's just totally 100% going sideways. Look at this. Look, here's a 10 minute. It's just going sideways. I mean, okay, it's slowly going down. It'll probably even drop down, but I don't want to wait any longer. I gotta go do some things. And I gotta get started with the charting and everything. I'm just really super busy, so I don't have time to just keep waiting for this thing. Some days, Take like this, take forever, but eh. Anyway, every day is different. I'll be back tomorrow for some more trading. I managed to come out ahead today. Struggled again today. But uh, managed to come out ahead. I'll come out tomorrow. Maybe I can ace it tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I always try to do, right? Okay, I'll see you traders tomorrow. Hope you guys are learning and doing well out there trading. Take care out there, traders.